So I've enlisted the help of Dad and some old honey bunches of oats. Yep, actually still edible. The first reason is that I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> and so this is what we're left with. Hi there, folks. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman, and I'd like to welcome you back to another Work With Me Wednesday edition of the Modern Yeoman, where there's no music, no fancy editing. It's just me and you getting some stuff done, maybe doing a little bit of talking while we do it. Now, it's early February, and still a little bit early to start thinking about garden stuff. However, there is some work that I can get done here in the garden, more specifically some work that some of my friends can get done here in the garden. And those friends are my chickens. You gonna be giving the chickens a smoothie? No, this is all for me. Sorry, girls. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> That's all for Holly. So the plan at this point is to take another Premier One fence. Currently there's a Premier One fence going out. It's 164, it's 164 feet long, but I'm gonna get another 164 foot long Premier One fence, connect it to this one and wrap it all around the garden, which will allow the chickens to move out into this space and dig through the beds and most importantly, poop on the beds, which I think is going to add a lot of nitrogen to the garden space, to these places that'll grow. It's still early enough in the season to where I think that nitrogen will have time to break down before we start planting. That's the hope at least. So my first job is to get that next fence set up. So let's do it. Something I've been really thankful for Living down here in Tennessee is, I've noticed that it seems like in the winter there's more sunny days than cloudy days. When we lived up north, I mean, obviously it was colder. That's par for the course with living up north. Yeah, it's acceptable for being up there. That's something you expect. But it seemed like there was almost always a perma cloud when we lived up north for most of the winter, three or four months. There'd be very few sunny days. Down here, it seems like there's more sunny days than cloudy days, even in the winter. I'd say 80% of the days in these winter months, there's blue sky, there's very little clouds. And I think just having that sun on my face, that vitamin D makes a huge difference. It's, it's so good to just come out here and work. Even when it's kind of cold out, I can put on a long sleeve shirt and maybe a light jacket and get some work done. And I feel 90% better than I would just sitting inside, getting out here and getting some work done. It really, really makes a difference. If you're feeling kind of blue or out of sorts and it's a sunny day, I'd highly encourage you to step outside and just walk around. You don't have to do anything crazy or strenuous, but just get some sun on your skin and feel what it's, feel its restorative powers. I, I can almost guarantee you that you'll feel, if not significantly better than at least a little bit better, just getting that sun on your face. So the gate has been removed from the west side of the lean-to, and so they have full access to the garden now. Let's see if they slowly start making their way out here. In the meantime, I still need to figure out the configuration of this fence because I got a lot more fence than I bargained for. Two rolls of 164 feet, that's a lot of fence.
So they've got a lot of room to roam now. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Sean, you wanted the chickens in the garden, but they've got all this, what, like a quarter acre here that they can just mosey around on. And they seem to be pretty happy grazing around here. So why didn't you concentrate them in the garden area, make the fence smaller? Well, there's two reasons. The number one, the first reason is that I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> and so this is what we're left with. But the second reason, the more that I think about it, I don't want to concentrate them too hard in the garden. I do want them to spend some time in the garden and in these beds, but I don't want it to be nitrogen burned. I just want it to be nitrogen kissed. Let's put it that way. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and figure out ways to entice them over here into the garden. And whenever I feed them, whenever I give them treats, I'm gonna do it over here in the garden bed. So why don't I try doing some of that right now and see what happens. So I've enlisted the help of dad and some old honey bunches of oats. Yeah, actually still edible. They're yeah. still edible, are they stale? We're not they're, throwing they're, them. They're a little stale. Okay, all right, so some stale honey bunches of oats. And we're gonna try and get these chickens Look how happy they are, Dad. Oh, yeah. They've yeah, got like a good quarter acre. <laughs> it's like doubled the amount of room that they have. They're, they're pumped. Um, so what we're going to try and do, fighter agrees, what we're going to try and do is throw some, throw some of these cereal bits out here in the garden and see if they come. They're freaked out by this. Right. Come on. There we go. They're thinking it's a, uh, a border that they shouldn't cross. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to be an issue. Come on. There you go. We got one brave. <laughs> Come on. They are freaked out by the... The beds, the wooden beds. I don't know why. Yeah, like you said, there's only... Maybe if I get them just oh, into the lane. Only one so far that's... <laughs> is that Rosie? That's Rosie, yep. of course. Yeah, of course. My goal is to get them to root around these beds. And I hope that they will eventually start pooping in it yeah pooping in it and digging it around and scratching stuff up yeah making it more oh here all we right, go here we go okay all right gals get to work yeah i think it's just going to be a little little bit of time before they they realize what they're doing isn't like illegal or immoral. yeah they don't have to freak <laughs> out i'm a little so it's the next day after I filmed, and I want you to see that the chickens have discovered these raised beds, and it seems like they're in love with them. And it's a beautiful morning too. It's like we're in the middle of February, and already it's I don't know, 8.30 in the morning, and already it's got to be in the 40s, maybe even the 50s. It feels great out. What do you think, chickens? Keep working, ladies.